Boris Johnson phoned Emmanuel Macron this morning as he attempted to calm tensions over the defence pact struck with the US and Australia. France was left seething when the Prime Minister unveiled a new partnership with President Biden and Australia's Scott Morrison last week. The pact included terms on the UK and US working together to build Australia's first nuclear submarines. The pact, known as AUKUS, terminated a deal struck between Paris and Canberra to provide diesel-driven submarines. France accused the three countries of being stabbed in the back with the secret agreement, which it was not aware of until hours before it was announced. This morning Mr. Johnson spoke to the French president in an attempt to ease tensions. A Downing Street spokesperson said, the Prime Minister spoke to French President Emmanuel Macron this morning, to discuss a range of issues of mutual interest, they reaffirmed the importance of the UK-France relationship and agreed to continue working closely together around the world on our shared agenda, through NATO and bilaterally. The leaders noted in particular the strategic significance of our long-standing cooperation in the Indo-Pacific and in Africa, including through the joint mission in Mali. The call is the first time the two leaders have spoken to each other since the AUKUS deal was announced. Last week an enraged France recalled its US and Australian ambassadors in retaliation for the agreement. Britain's ambassador remained in place as the country sneered the UK has been uninfluential in the deal as was the fifth wheel of the wagon. President Biden had a phone call of his own with President Macron on Wednesday in a bid to cool tempers. On the same day, Mr. Johnson has been accused of heightening anger in Paris. He used Franglais to tell Mr. Macron he should prenez un grip and give him a break when speaking to the media at the UN in New York. With no sign of tensions thawing, yesterday Australia was warned it would be sent a bill for pulling out of the £45 billion agreement with Paris. Pierre Eric Pommelet, CEO of the naval group that was contracted to make the original conventional submarine, said cancelling the contract was unprecedented brutality. 